Hello and welcome to Tech Deals RTX 2060 giveaway winner announcement and new giveaway and my current thoughts on graphics cards on the market today. Most notably, $220 to $350 price range. You can see three cards in front of me right here. Now, I will put the winning announcement right here. The four winners, they've already been contacted, emails sent out. They have three days to respond from when this video was published or I will draw new winners. I will make an announcement on Twitter if that happens. I won't make a new video. If you're not following me on Twitter, be sure to click the link down in the description below. That's not required. Of course, I will email the winners, but you four have three days to respond to those emails that I sent out when I published this video. There is a new giveaway running. It's not video cards, but there will be 10 winners in this giveaway. Link in the video description below to the new giveaway that will be running throughout the month of April, and I will have a dedicated video on that coming very soon, but early access for those of you who watch this video. The rest of this video isn't about the RTX 2060, except it kind of is because that's what this is. Instead, I briefly want to talk about the current position of cards in the market. I think some people missed my GTX 1660 launch video, and I will link to that down below if you missed it and you want to know in detail about the current cards on the market, go watch that video. RX 580, RX 590, GTX 1660, 1660 Ti and 2060 were all benchmarked in that video. There were tons of benchmarks, multiple resolutions, multiple games, charts, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So go watch that video if you want the detailed look. Here, I'm gonna give you the short, sweet version. The RX 580 and to some extent the 590 do remain the value king in the business, especially with the either two or three free games that currently come with them. The RX 580 comes with two, the RX 590 comes with three. If you're interested in those games, if you were otherwise gonna buy those games, that is a phenomenal value. It really is worth buying if you're interested. If you're not interested in those games, those cards are less interesting. They're still very good value, but they are a couple generations old now. They've been recycled a couple times, and the new technology in these new cards is interesting and compelling if you want something to last a bit longer. When the RTX 2060 launched, I commented that it was the new 1080p Gaming King. A number of people questioned that, saying, what are you talking about? That's a great 1440p card. You don't need that. No, you don't today, except in maybe a small handful of games, maybe 10 games tops. Do you really need this for 1080p today? Everything else, it's a great 1440p card. However, I personally believe that most people who buy video cards want them to last for at least three years. If your goal is to last three years, an RX 580, as nice as it is, isn't going to do it. It will do it in some games, to be sure. I mean, if all you play is Overwatch and League of Legends and CSGO, okay, fine. Uh, an RX 580 will do those in 1440p for the next three years. But if you want to play newly launched games coming in the next three years, and you want to play them 1080p, high detail, 60 to 100 frames per second, I do believe RTX 2060 is worth considering. If you don't care about ray tracing, and frankly, at the level of this card, I imagine most people don't. If you cared, you'd buy a faster card like a 2080. The 1660 Ti is a worthy consideration. $280 versus $350. However, I would point out that there are other differences besides just ray tracing. Tensor cores, DLSS. There are other features that are on the RTX cards which are missing on the 1660 Ti. They both do have GDDR6 and there's nothing wrong with taking a 1660 Ti. I just think that if you've got $280 to spend on a card, do you want one missing the new technologies for compatibility's sake? Or do you want to spend a bit more, get a little bit more performance, it is faster, and have those technologies on board. No, it's not gonna be ray tracing at 60 to 100 frames per second with all the detail turned on, but at least it has the support and it won't make you obsolete two or three years from now if you wanna keep using it. There's another point to consider. The 20 series currently comes with a free game. If you buy one of these for $350, you currently have your choice of one free game, Battlefield 5, Anthem, or Metro Exodus. 
If you don't care about those games, that's not a value add. But if you do care about those games, that's a $50 value that completely wipes away any price advantage of buying a 1660 if you're interested in one of those three free games. Please note bundles change all the time. I'm assuming you're watching this video relatively close to when I'm launched, when I released this video in April of 2019. If you watch this six months from now and say, what are you talking about? Tech, there's no free game or there's free games with this. Well, yeah, things change. But at the beginning of April, that's how it stands. Now, interestingly enough, the 1669 Ti is a worthy card to consider. If you're at the $200 price point, well, it's more than that. 220 is the lowest these currently go, though I would expect them to hit 200 at some point over the summer, maybe with a mail-in rebate, maybe not. But this is really close in price to the RX 580, and it is faster than the RX 580. How much? Watch my 1660 launch video for a bunch of comparisons. In some games, they're relatively close. In other games, they're much further apart. Just a small taste of what the 1660 launch video shows. This is just one of many charts from that video. 1080p, high detail, 69 frames per second average on an RX 580 versus 80 frames per second average on a GTX 1660. With a 20 or $30 price difference, give or take, between those two cards, they're very, very competitive in terms of price to performance. Notice the RTX 2060 there. We'll come back to that. But at 112 frames per second, it may cost more, but if you want that free game, it's worth every penny of it. But basically 99% of the time, the 1660 will be faster, in many cases noticeably so, than the RX 580. It has GDDR5 instead of GDDR6, which will hold it back at higher resolutions. Totally a 1080p card here uh, with the GDDR5. The larger the resolution, the more important uh, memory bandwidth, the more important VRAM is. So it's nice to get a TI if you, for example, want a 1440p card today. But if you need a $200 price point, I think it's worth considering. If you want one of the free games, get the 2060. If you don't, absolutely nothing wrong with getting a 1660 Ti if that's your price point. Now, some of you might be sitting there watching this going, what in the world is this computer sitting here? Well, you may or may not have seen any of my coverage of the $900 Battle of the Pre-Built versus Custom-Built video series. This is a Ryzen 5 2600X with a GTX 1660 Ti in it, 16 gigs of RAM, very, very nice machine, all things considered, $900 budget. Yes, I know you can put a better video card in for a $900 budget, but nice case, nice power supply, nice motherboard, nice RAM, etc. It's a nice balanced machine. It has a terabyte of SSD space in there. You could lower that and change it around, but it's a nice balanced machine, great performance, and I've already published a couple of videos comparing the $900 CyberPower pre-built with this Ryzen 5. 2600X. And there will be more of those coming, as well as a dedicated video with all the benchmarks in one video, since some of them are built-in benchmarks and don't really deserve a video of their own. But the detailed build guide of this computer will be coming soon if you're interested in checking that out. It really is a very nice machine. It's amazing what $900 buys you today. And I put it here because, of course, that's the card that's in the middle right here, the MSI GTX 1660 Ti. A great performer, runs cool, runs quiet, has some nice RGB sitting on at the moment. So if you're interested, be sure to check that out. This has been the giveaway RTX 2060 video. My thoughts on the current cards on the market, what I would buy, Really, they're all a good value in terms of price. Watch my launch video on the 1660 where I cover uh, price per frame per second and talk about the relative value of the cards and the fact that the performance stair steps, as does the price, and really any of them are a good deal. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you've loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with that big huge red button directly below. You need to to enter all the giveaways anyway. Hit the bell notification icon next to that to actually be notified when new videos come out because frankly, YouTube does not send out notifications if you don't hit the little bell next to it. Hit the join button next to that if you'd like to become a member of The Deal Nation and support the channel. Or, as an alternative, there's links down in the description below in other ways to support Patreon, PayPal, float plane for early access to videos. And then you can also use the affiliate links down there to Amazon, Newegg, and eBay at no extra cost to you to support the channel while shopping for these or anything else on your list. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time.